All right, so here's a final look at the code. We're looking at the JFrame. I'm just going to scroll through this if you want to see all the code. Say you missed something in some of the previous videos, you can take a look here and see what you missed. I'll do it a page at a time. All right, here's the constructor for the uh, frame. Lots of setup, hitching up uh, all the controls to some arrays. Next, manage UI state. This is where all the UI setting gets uh, set. Some utility functions, um, more. The roll button, this is really important on the functioning of the game using that kind of setup. Here's a bunch of event handlers for the hold buttons. And then here's that new method that we just wrote. Here's the three of a kind, here's four of a kind, here's a full house, small straight, large straight, here's Yahtzee, Chance, that's all of those. Here is utility function, score upper category. Here's the new game button event handler. Uh, here is the showing of the totals that we calculated for the game, the main method, and finally at the bottom all the instance variables. For the uh, game model, let's we'll start up at the top there. Some more constants that we use throughout. Here's the constructor where we create arrays to hold all of our scores and various instance variables we initialize. Utility functions. Uh, is of a kind, we kind of factored that out and made it work for 3, 4, and Yahtzee. Here's full house. A test for that. Large straight. And then small straight is rather complicated. <laughs> Going down. And then um, Here's uh, setting the upper and lower categories. This one, uh, to add up all the dice, this might have been better to put in the dice class, but here it is in the uh, game model. And then uh, get the use upper and lower, lower category state, whether they've been used or not. Some turn stuff. Here's where we do all the uh, totaling. Here's the instance variables and some accessor methods. So that's it. Uh, the die class, pretty straightforward. And then the dice class, a little bit more to it. Some of the methods that we've been using. And uh, not sure what's in here. Yeah, there's nothing at all. So we have four basic classes, one for the UI, one for the game and then one dice class which is an aggregator for all of the die objects in the set of dice.